Caesar, how are you? I think you should buy my painting. Well, I don't really collect paintings. Well, Caesar, it's a masterpiece. I call it moon shooting. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I, I, I don't, I'm not an art fan. Well, Caesar, you buy today, and tomorrow you sell for twice the price. Oh, oh, yeah, but that's only if somebody wants to buy it from me. It's just me, people who want it is a masterpiece. I'll tell you what, I'll buy it from you, but I'll give you the same price I give to all the paintings I buy. Oh, you do buy paintings, so what a price are you talking about? I'll give you the cost of the canvas and the paint. Hello and welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today we're on uh, Ethereum or Polygon, depending on which one you use and where your NFTs are stored. And today we're taking a look at NFT20. Now NFT20 is a way to make the selling and buying of NFTs a little more liquid, a little easier to do. Now it's not the best option for all NFT sales, but it does have its purpose and I kind of like it. So I thought I would go through and explain it to you. So let's take a look at what I have here in my wallet. I have a whole bunch of NFTs, you know, I've got all my NFTs for sale, but I also have these ones here. This one was given to me by uh, the people who run this NFT 20. So we're going to use this today to demonstrate what the NFT 20 does. And then I have these other ones. And now let's say I have these in my wallet and I want to sell them. You know, I just go to, you know, OpenSea, I click sell, I set a price and I hope wait for a buyer to come and buy it, right? But let's say I'm kind of in an emergency or I just want to get rid of it and I don't really care so much about how much I get for it, but I just want to get some money out of it. Then this is a great place to go to do that. So let me go inside and explain how it works. Very, very just simply just give you a good idea of what's going on in here if you want to know all the details you can go to the docs and read more carefully about it so let's go inside and see assets here so inside these assets you have all of these pools now these are pools of collections uh, different collections of art so inside here will be all the chubbies or inside here will be all the gang punks and uh, I have this one gang punk here that I'm thinking about selling or I want to get rid of so I will come to here and see is there a pool already for me so I've tried to see, make a pool for myself but there's some issue about OpenSea and they don't verify my my collection yet so I wasn't able to actually make my own pool but I'll try to make my own pool eventually as well so you go into gang punks here and you have a, uh, a little user interface that's specific to this collection if you go to a different one it will be a different pool a different collection so basically when you stick any of their nfts in here then you're going to get back 100 of these gang punk 20 tokens these are fungible uh, ERC 20 tokens and uh, you're supposed to get you know 100 of them back but there are some fees so you'll actually end up getting 90 then you can take these G punk tokens in your wallet and you can go to Uniswap and sell them for ETH right and here's the ETH pool or you can use these G punk tokens in here to buy some of the other NFTs in the pool so if you go through here like oh I like this one better than the one I have so I could use my uh, tokens to buy that and you can also swap from one to another you can just get hey I'll throw this one I'll throw mine in there and take out this one whatever you you think is your idea so there's some uh, arbitrage opportunities here let's say I have a whole bunch of these guys in my wallet and I think this one's much more popular and will sell I could swap for this for free and then put this on OpenSea to try to sell it right and maybe make some money that way now there's also the op uh, opportunity of arbitrage on the actual LP here because uh, I can mint for 100 but maybe they're worth less I can buy from the uh, I can buy these from OpenSea and maybe I can get a better deal and so forth so there's a bit of like arbitrage going on here but I think the main purpose is to like allow people to easily sell their tokens so let's uh, get rid of mine so let's go here and you see, oh, I have this one in my wallet, so I'm going to select that 
and put it in here. And you see I get these 95 uh, G Punk 20 tokens. And then I'll swap it. So I'll have to pay a little bit of gas because this is an Ethereum transaction. So here comes the gas man. So about $9 right now at current gas. So I'm just going to confirm this and then I'll wait for it to confirm. Okay, so now I should have uh, 95 of these G -Punk 20, G Punk's 20 tokens inside my wallet. And I've basically sold my NFT. So my NFT is now owned by this pool and it's no longer owned by my specific wallet. Now, if I wanted to swap NFT for NFT, I would have clicked this switch here and then it would go to NFT and NFT. I could select the two NFTs. Now, let's go to the Uniswap pool and see if I can cash it out. So here's the Uniswap pool. There's a fair amount of liquidity. As you can see, it's going down, but it's you know still going. So I can go to trade. So you usually, as usual, you get some sort of like message saying, oh, this is not a, on the list. So I'm going to import that. And now I could use my ETH to buy some more tokens, but maybe I want to sell, I want to cash out, right? So I can put my 95 and wait for my loading of how much ETH I will get for this. So there's no liquidity, of course, in version three. So we go to version two. And you can see I'm going to get about $87 from this uh, G Punk's token by selling it. So I'm going to just do this to make sure it goes through. So yeah, of course you have to allow the protocol to spend your tokens as usual. So a little bit of gas here as well. Okay, so I have my first confirmation. We just wait for this uh, Uniswap to refresh and then it'll allow me to swap. Well, it should. Okay, it's refreshed now. Let's go with our swap and swap again we're going to have to pay our gas of course as usual and then we wait again so transaction submitted i'll just close this and wait for the gas to happen and while this is pending let's swing back over to uh nft 20 and of course we'll get the confirmation eventually and there's a few more things i would like to talk about now this is a as you can see, I didn't really care about how much money I got. You see the four places around 60 and 90 dollars and I'm only getting about 80 dollars or so, right? About 80 dollars. And then I'm also paying some gas. So I am losing some money in the long run, but it's a good way to get out of uh, an NFT that, you know, is on the list. Now, if your NFT is not in this list, in this list, if you have something that's more rare and doesn't have a collection, then you're kind of out of luck. You, you can't use this. So you got to kind of go in here. Oh, there we go. So that should be done. So as you can see, it was pretty easy for me to get out of that NFT position. It was much easier than if I had tried to sell it on uh, OpenSea. However, I probably most definitely took a price, like a, a took a loss on the deal, so to speak. I could have probably sold it for much more on actual uh, OpenSea, assuming that it actually was in demand. So there's some of these pools that are quite full, but they, like this one has a zero and this one has zero. So they've made the pool, but there's nothing inside. But if we go to the top, I've, uh, I've sorted here by liquidity or let's sort by NFTs locked instead. As you can see, some of them have a, a large, a very, very, very large amount of NFTs in there. So you can, there's probably a lot more liquidity, a lot more easy. Uh, the price probably doesn't get as quite as impact. And then there's also the liquidity here, which is the like total value locked of the, of the, the pool within here. So um, that pretty much covers it. Uh, there's probably more to this that I'm not talking about. Like uh, there's the Muse token, which is the governance token that you know gathers some of the fees and stuff like that. And you can go in here, you can search around a little bit more, but I think it's pretty good. I think this idea is solid and uh, it definitely made uh, the selling of that NFT a lot easier for me. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and goodbye.